Another one? Goku Black versus Reverse Flash Death Battle. Have you guys seen it? Because we haven't. All right, let's jump into it. Goku Black, the body stealing arbiter of divine justice. The most badass character in Dragon Ball. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know enough about Flash. What consumes the thoughts of a god? What do immortals dream of with all the time in the world? In Zamasu's case, his one goal was to find justice. Yeah, this guy's got and kill everyone. Everyone? Everyone. As the to Universe 10 Supreme Kai, Zamasu prized above all else cosmic order and natural beauty. Oh, that reminds me. Did you know I can burp and fart at the same time? <laughs> what? Unsurprisingly, Zamasu despised the inherently What? Okay. Okay. ...willing to lift themselves out of their own cycle of Dude's got a god complex. Goku pink. Please don't. I just, I knew that would irritate you. And side note, it's worth mentioning that when two gods of destruction fought, they were capable of casually destroying two of these universes. And since the shockwaves from their punches traveled across Universe 7 in seconds, they'd have to be hitting way faster than light. Jeez. Goku was tapping into a Super Saiyan God form for this, though clearly not at its full strength. While the exact multiplier for Super Saiyan Blue is unknown, Toriyama himself has directly compared it to the original Super Saiyan 4. And don't forget, Goku trained with Whis and fought in the tournament with Universe 6 before Zabasu got up with him. So by that time, he was way stronger. Here was a mortal with the powers of gods beyond even Zabasu's abilities. Someone who could bring his dreams to fruition. So Sammy did what anyone would do in that situation. Kill his master to become the Supreme Kai, which on the Super Dragon Balls to switch bodies with Goku and kill every single mortal in the I find the manga to be way better than the show. Hmm. Goku the show's got some cool moments. Please, Goku Black, you couldn't be more creative. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't he just wish all the mortals dead? But that wouldn't be as fun, would it? Black's got all of Goku's strength and powers, but wielded by a genocidal maniac instead of that lovable goober of a monkey man. And <laughs> in keeping with Goku's Saiyan heritage and godly key, Black can easily achieve the form of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. But with a shame what? painful twist, Super Saiyan Rose. Yeah, there you go, Super Saiyan Pink. There we go. Now I'm interested. <laughs> he stole Goku's techniques too, like the instant transmission, where he focuses on a person's key signature to teleport to their location. He's even got the black Kamehameha, which is a Kamehameha, but pink. And with the same body, he gets stronger and stronger. The naming conventions. <laughs> It just becomes harder and harder to kill. Which really sucks for the rest of the universe. Because Black is kind of like if Goku just snapped one day and used his powers to their full murder. So is he a bad guy? Yep. Okay. Dude thinks he's like perfection. He's not really Goku. He's the green. He's the green character. Now that's busted. Oh, so this is where him and Reverse Flash are gonna collide. Yeah, time traveling. Him from being affected by alterations to his own personal timeline. 
So killing him in the past doesn't change his future and vice versa. Okay. Multiverse. Right. Yeah. At one point in time, he still exists. More like a headache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and another. And another. More like another. just accept it. <laughs> I guess. Huh? Major Final Fantasy villain vibes here. It took Zeno, the Omni King, the most powerful being. Okay, that wasn't like a Goku Black beat, but sure. Timeline just to stop Black's rampage. How ironic. Zamasu's higher calling was the eradication of all mortal life in the universe, and he stole the strongest mortal's body to do it. But in the end, he was always doomed to fail. His quest for power meant nothing against the being that would always be stronger, no matter what he did. Or who he was. And the universe ended up being destroyed anyway. Huh. Like one big cosmic joke with no one left to I mean, around. the only way to stop him was to literally erase him. Basically, the god in this world did like the Popeye comic where he like turned the universe off. Oh, but okay. instead of Goku Black still being there, he was gone. Right. <laughs> Than his number one fan from the 25th century, Eobard Thawne. 25th century? Jesus. A lot of stupid names for things in our years here at Death Battle. Eobard is the dumbest first name. Eobard was. He's got a good point. He's got a very good point. Eobard. He looks fucking crazy. Until Barry realized that Thawne had fabricated crimes in order to show up and save the day. Oh. Thawne promised to better himself before traveling to the past to prove his worth to his hero. To prove that their bond was special. He's a little nutty looking. that Barry already had a best friend and a family and a life. Without him, he didn't matter. He wasn't special. He was just a nobody Barry tossed out in the trash. There's other flashes. Like my dinner dates do to me, if only. When Thawne visited the Flash Museum in Barry's time, he discovered the secret identity to Flash's greatest enemy that in his future had been lost to time. The one Barry was fated to kill in battle. Eobard Thawne. <laughs> oh, he was his worst enemy. The multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> Likes Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen. <laughs> Dislikes Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen. <laughs> Don't go black, reverse flash. Yeah. Eobard. <laughs> Negative speed force gives Thawne access to many of the Flash's powers, including his mind-bending super speed, enough to travel all across time and space in days. He can keep up with and oh. surpass other speedsters like Barry and Wally, who once ran fast enough to cross the universe faster than two gods who could teleport. Wally even beat himself in a race, and Barry admitted <laughs> Thawne was still faster than that. Wait just a second, he beat himself? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Unlike Barry and Wally, Thawne applies his powers more... Catastrophically, using them to their full potential without any care for collateral. Take, for instance, his ability to vibrate himself through solid objects. Objects like, say, oh. vital organs. And if he did, he'd scramble their molecules, causing instant death. Thought oh. he just that to Barry's wife, Iris. And Barry did not appreciate it. Fawn's vibrations are so powerful, he can even produce a counterforce that can reverse the destruction of the entire universe. Pretty crazy sounding. Okay. Tier speedsters like Jenny Ognats can do the same kind of thing. And when Barry and Wally raced each other, they were tearing up the entire multiverse. Fawn can create shockwaves with a snap, phase into your body, and possess you. 
and even speak at such high speeds that you'll hear his words as though they were your own thoughts. And instead of stealing your speed like other flashes, he can what? steal your time. Yeah, huh? Time what? From your life and age you 80 years in just a few seconds. That sounds like Does it make him younger or he just that's how he no, kills? He just like the vibrations are just that insane. And he uses this expertise to be as petty and cruel as humanly possible. Oh, it wasn't a devil. Damn. He knew that if he went back in time to kill Barry before he got his powers, he'd erase himself from the time stream too. So instead, he'd just make Barry's life suck as hard as he could. <laughs> Push down some stairs. Brett got his best friend from history. Kill his mom. He even told Barry he'd go back in time and adopt him as his own. Oh my boy. god, savage. Dude, this guy's insane. successful younger brother, his career oh. rival at the Flash Museum, and every single boyfriend his crush had until there was no one left but him. And what? He oh my her, god. Back in time again and made her an invalid for the rest of her life. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? He's evil as shit. That's impossible. Grandpappy paradox or whatever. If he went back in time to kill someone, they'd be dead in the future. Which means... Which... Which means he'd never know them and want to go back in time in the first place, right? Whiz. Yeah. Maybe time is a construct with no legitimate unit of measurement other than the meager attempts man has made to understand the incomprehensible world. When Barry initiated Flashpoint, which rewrote the universe while Fawn was technically disconnected from it. So Fawn essentially. AKA. Literally Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> specifically, he became a living paradox, a being without a past or future, literally without continuity. Not only did this mean he'd be unaffected by changes to his past, it made him effectively immortal. Stabbed in the chest by evil Batman, vaporized by Iris. There's an evil Batman? I mean, the multiverse, yeah. By the big blue god dung himself. Don was always reborn. Unable to stay dead, but more than wow. Anything, okay, so he can't die, but Goku Black can, so... That's my guess. I, I guess. Whatever he wanted, he was impossible to stop with no reason to hold back. He survived a hit from Barry while he had the entire speed force absorbed into him. And even oh. while he's infinite mass punch, which has the mass of a white dwarf star. A white dwarf uh, uh, what? essentially the remains of a star's ultra-dense core. Which has a mass of over two octillion tons. How do you know that? How do you measure a, a random ass <laughs> star, bro? Barry, if a son to the face can't take him down, but he doesn't hate Barry. All of his schemes, all of his machinations, all of his insane timeline shattering threats, all of it was because it was the only way he could think of to spend time with his hero. What? <laughs> what the hell? He should have just adopted him when he was a kid and. Yeah. Done deal. Oh. Desired was to be by Barry's side. In the end, though, goody little two shoes Barry forgave him and then vibrated away his living paradox powers, erasing him from existence. Oh, oh. Time, Barry didn't kill Fawn, he reset his timeline, removing the one thing driving his hatred his relationship with Barry. Without that, Fawn was a normal, happy Flash fan once again. It's comics, Wiz, he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mind. He'll always be faster. He'll always catch you. And time is always on his side. Still think you can take me? Even death can't catch me. Literally. <laughs> it was me, Barry. I was the one who... Oh, she. Well, that's quite the entrance. I know. And drinking a cup of tea? Oh yeah, Goku Black's classy. Oh. <laughs> my god! Oh no! Oh, oh my no! god! 
that's so Dude. fucked up! I mean, can he even touch him? He's just gonna nuke the whole planet. What the hell? He didn't touch him though. He didn't get him. Oh. Is a sight? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> 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 They're both paradoxes. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to interrupt each other in the <laughs> <laughs> What? What? They're literally attacking each other throughout. Oh my god. Only way he can travel through time. Yeah. Oh god. Put his face in the dirt. Oh. oh. Well, damn. I finally predicted one right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so what made him... I have a theory, and I'll tell you guys at the end. I mean, they're gonna tell us. But I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Okay. Numerous examples of this for multiple iterations of the Flash, many of whom Thawne was clearly equal to. Plus, he's kind of an expert when it comes to timey wimey bullshit, and he could likely <laughs> overcome the black and destroy said time ring too. After all, Thawne once generated enough energy to counter the destruction of the entire DC universe, which is stated by a oh, dude. 100 trillion light years in diameter. That's what the fuck? He did the thing. They turned off the universe yeah, and yeah. he sta he stayed around. That's how he survived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Goku's body because 
as he's more than willing to take shortcuts. It's an entirely different <laughs> mindset. Yeah, and once he That's debatable, that time, though. Reverse Flash had a lot more options than just overpowering Black. With that super speed, he could pretty easily scramble Black's insides or age him to death with a touch. Zamasu may have been a deity even without the time ring, but Goku's body is mortal with a limited range of age. Might have really screwed yourself with that one, huh, Zam Zam? Goku <laughs> a nightmarish foe. But Thawne's experience with time travel, ridiculous levels of hacks, and frankly impossible speed gave him the means to take the win. This fight was definitely not underwhelming. The winner is the what? reverse. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that last one, Boomstick. So here's my theory, right? For the What's your theory besides we got the answer? Well, technical jargon, whatever. Yeah. For the majority of the fight, who's ever in the defensive mode, which in this case was reverse flash, is always going to have a comeback and win. Is that what you think, like, death battles do? That's what I feel like has been happening, yeah. Oh. There's no point in watching death battles. Well, let's see. I'll try to predict the next one we watch and see <laughs> if I get it right. I mean, I agree with a lot of what they said. I mean, the fact... DC's kind of broken anyway, so, like, the fact that they could just, like... The universe could get destroyed and reverse flash is like, yeah, I don't I don't care. Right. It's kind of like that that basically just answers itself because Goku Black literally got erased. Yeah. So they also said he like couldn't really die. The whole idea If you can't die, you can't die. Like the one thing the one thing about like the whole Go he's not Goku, so he doesn't have the same drive. Like literally Goku Black keeps getting stronger. And the only reason that he loses, in my opinion, in the show, mm -hmm. is because they went with like a stupid fusion route because Goku Black uh, was straight up beating the shit out of everyone oh, okay. before he fused in the show. And I think he could have just like kept getting stronger. Oh damn. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. But still cool. Very cool, yeah. That was that was a fun that was we a really fun fight, even though like, I don't know, whatever the logistics like, are behind it, I really enjoyed that. Me too. I mean two time trap two paradoxes. Evil time travelers. Yes, yeah, two evil paradoxes. Yeah. insane <laughs> well thanks so much for watching if you like what you saw please subscribe if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments and we'll see you in the next one yeah see ya bye